Hello everyone, welcome to Spectra Education. I am Dr. Rajesh Sarpanja. Today I will discuss about the surface integration of a vector field. As you know that in our last video we have lecture the problem solution technique about the vector line integration. We will also discuss about the problem solving methods for the surface integration. But uh, before going through in details, today I would like to discuss about these topics. First, I would like to make a clear concept about uh, these things. What is the open surface? What is the closed surface? What do you mean by the one and two sided surface? Because these two concepts are very essential to observe or to feel the problems. Right? Third, I will discuss what is the meaning of the surface integration and fourth, what is the mathematical definition that means what is the working formula for surface integration. Right? So, let's start with uh, what do you mean by the open and closed surface. I know that without this concept, you can solve the problem. But uh, if you know about these things, it can help you to understand the problem. And it's my aim not to provide the solution of the problems, but to make yourself to be an able candidate to solve the problems. This is my aim. Okay. So let's start with what is the open surface and what is the closed surface. First, I would like to discuss about the closed surface. So write down these things. Later on, I will discuss this one. Okay. Closed surface, it must have one property that it must contains a volume it must contains a volume so let's try to understand with several examples if you consider uh, a balloon right and it is the surface of that balloon and you all know that this balloon is filled with air and it is completely closed from each and every side and this surface contains a volume and it is a closed surface this is a this is one of the best example of the closed surface or you can think it is not right now with me you can think about the football right it is a completely closed from every side and it contains air inside it it is another example of the closed surface or you can think uh, I have this one, this uh, centrifuge tube. You can also observe that it is completely closed, right? And it contains also a volume. And this is another example of closed surface, right? So these surfaces are the closed surface which contains a volume. Now, what is the open surface then? So I'd like to write here open surface it may or may not contains volume so let's see is it visible or not okay it is completely visible so this is the property of an open surface what it means it means that open surface sometimes it does not contain any volume and sometimes it may contain volume so let's take an example if i consider a plain sheet of paper you know that it must have two sides one side this is the front side it is one surface and another one is the back side it is another surface is it an open surface or closed surface obviously it is an open surface right does it contain any volume? No, it does not contain any volume. So in this example, the plain sheet of paper, which is an example of an open surface, it does not contain any volume. Now, I like to roll this paper and want to give a shape of open cylinder. Right? It is just like a cylinder and the both end of the cylinder is open still now this is an example of open surface why because in closed surface each and every side must be closed but here these two ends are open so this is an example of open surface 
but does it contain volume obviously although it is open there are certain amount of air inside this one air must have some volume so this open surface contains a volume let's take another very beautiful example if i consider this uh, container i think it is visible to you and you can find out at the top of the container there is open space inside this one there is opening so this is an example of open surface is it clear similarly if i think this centrifuge tube and if i just open it from here it becomes an example of open surface so based on the volume that closed surface must contain volume and open surface may or may not contains volume can we make a concrete difference between the closed and the open surface no obviously not so based on the volume we cannot make sure that this surface is a open surface or closed surface there is another experimental trick through which we can concretely make a distinction between this closed and the open surface what is it it says that first take a surface okay so let's take uh, this surface a plain sheet of paper now if i prick at a point of this surface that means if i make a hole by this uh, pin or any sharp object if i want to make a hole here i can make a hole easily and if this object that means pin entrance in one side and exit through other side or in other words listen carefully if this pin can easily go from one open space to another open space through a single hole over the surface then this surface is known as an open surface so i can easily send this pin from this front surface to the back one through a single hole here is it clear so the condition is if there is a single hole and through this single hole the pin is right now in the both end it is in the open space so write down this one if if there is there is a single uh, prick point through which which an object can easily pass can easily pass and be in open space and remains in open space then this surface is known as the open surface what it means i would like to discuss in bengali also jodi amra ekta surface ni ar sei surface e ekta hole er moddhe diye ami jodi kono ekta object ke pass korai both side sei object ta jodi easily front surface theke back surface e chole jay ebong both side of the object that is the tail of the object and the head of the object are in open space then this surface is known as open surface so can we use this definition when we are making a cylinder just by rolling this paper so here also that if this is the outer surface and this is the inner surface so easily we can make a hole here and it can enters the other surface it can reach the other surface but right now also you can see the two side of my pen the head and the tail are in open space because this inside space is also open space it is not the closed space so that's why sorry so that's why this is an open surface we can easily think using this one also this is 
a container and it is one sided open so this space is open space but it calls also contains certain volume now if i want to prick here or make a hole so this pen can easily go through the outer surface and it can reach the inner surface you can see and the both ends of my pen are in open space right so this is an open surface but what about the closed surface what about the closed surface i'll not prick that balloon <laughs> if i want to prick here the pen can easily go inside okay but the end of this pen will not be in the open space it will be inside the balloon so to take it back in the open space i have to pick here also that means it can pick it can enter through this hole and to make it out i have to make another hole so in closed surface when an object enter the volume and exit through the volume we need two prick point so i can draw here this one to make it clear so let's take this is uh, okay i i'd like to here this let's say this is the balloon right so if i prick here so i need one prick point that is one hole is there there one hole is there and this pane will reach in the inside it is not the open space it is the closed space right and to take it back in this open space in this open space i have to go through through this one right so i have to make another hole here so this is technically it says in open surface one hole is sufficient to send any object from one surface to another surface that means the surface from one open space to another open space but in closed surface we need two holes to reach the pen or object from one open space to another open space so this is the difference between the open surface and the closed surface okay now we we'll like to discuss about the one sided and the two sided surface and there is will be a very famous example of mobius strip so let's try to understand this one so now what is the two sided and one sided surfaces first i will discuss about the two sided surfaces it is easy to identify for example uh, again we can think of a plain sheet of paper and it is easy to understand that it contains two surfaces one is the front surface and another is the back surface right so how do you know this have two surfaces mathematically how do you know scientifically how do you know that if you walk through this one surface you cannot reach the other surface either taking a cross over the edges what it means what i am saying that if you want to reach from for example you are working on that surface and you want to reach the back side of that surface then you have to take a cross at the edges you have to take a jump at the edges from any edges you can either can take jump here either can you can take jump here either you can take through this corner so anyhow you have to cross this one through the boundary of the surface if so if you must take a jump through the boundary of this surface then this is a two sided surface is it clear in bengali jodi kono surface theke ekta surface theke onno surface e tomake jete hoy tale tomake ei side barabar kono ekta jaygate giye tomake jump korte hobe ba cross korte hobe side ke cross korte hobe edge ke cross korte hobe যদি এটা করতে হয় তাহলে সেই সারফেস মাস্ট হ্যাভ টু সাইডেড লেটস টেক অ্যানাদার এক্সাম্পল নাও ইউ আর ওভার দিস সিলিন্ড্রিক্যাল টাইপ অফ কন্টেনার ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু রিচ দ্য ইনার সারফেস দেন ইউ মাস্ট টেক এ ক্রসিং অ্যাট দ্য বাউন্ডারি হিয়ার আদারওয়াইজ ইউ ক্যান নট রিচ অর ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো থ্রু দ্যাট ওয়ান থ্রু হোল বাট ইট ইজ নট এক্সেপ্টেবল হিয়ার 
so how can you reach the other surface either you have to prick through that first surface you can reach the second one again or you have to without making any hole you have to cross the boundary cross the boundary then then only you can reach the other surface so this must also have two surfaces one is the outer surface another one is the inner surface is it clear this is the two sided surface for example if i take this strip this also a two sided surface one is done second one done. if i want to make a strip make a closed loop here right make a closed loop is it a one sided or two sided obviously if you want to walk through this inner surface you will remain inner surface either you are crossing from the edges jodi tumi ei edge barabar cross na karo tale tumi kokhoni outer surface e asbe na is it clear so this is the two sided surface but there is a another very beautiful surface which only have a single side if you start your journey in the inner surface suddenly without crossing anything you will reach the outer surface and this is known as the one sided would you like to see this surface okay let's see the one side surface again from that strip i want to make a loop but right now i want not to join in a simple way but at the one end i would like to make a half folding folded here and want to join this strip so what i am doing do by yourself take this one and turn in a half scale not full scale okay turn it a half scale so you will find like a this type of a closed loop it is also a closed loop right but here the beauty of this strip is that if you want to start a journey in this outer surface let us this is the outer surface right so if you start your journey outer surface so just observe my finger this uh, first finger so if i want to journey along this one so i am right now in the outer surface so i have started my journey i am a still in the outer surface you can see i am still in the outer surface but without crossing any edge still i am in the outer surface now i am in the inner surface you can find my finger here so i am in the inner surface so i did not cross through the edges just i have started in the outer surface and easily i can enter in the inner surface without crossing right without crossing so there is an easy way to be inside and in the outside basically this type of surface does not have both sides it is a single sided loop single sided surface and this famous strip is known as the mobius strip right so this is the concept of two sided surface and one sided surface basically where we are living in our living world most of the surfaces are two sided is it clear so we have generated the concept of open sided and the two sided surface what is the one sided and two sided closed surface and the open surface i think uh, i should stop here because otherwise video will be very lengthy and in the next video i will discuss about the physical meaning of the surface integration and working formula in the third video i will solve the previous year problems also and other problems also so that's all for the day we'll meet in the next video